Today I'm gonna show you how you can make this documentary style highlight text effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. The first thing we're gonna do is make the timeline 60 frames per second like this. So now I'm just gonna drag on the picture of an article I have. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on it so we can see what's happening and just center the headline a little bit. Now we're just gonna go into the fusion page. First thing we're gonna add is a background node and simply just connect this to the media end like this and let's make the background a yellow color. I'll go into the merge and change the apply mode to multiply. Now add a rectangle so we can highlight the text. I zoom in a little bit by holding control and scrolling on the scroll wheel and line it up with the text. Something like this. This looks good so now copy it and then we can do it on the text under as well. I'll just drag it down and just try and line it up with the other side here. The thing we are going to do now is make the animation. So now we are going to add on a rectangle more. Drag it out to the side like this. Pull it barely out and just click invert. Copy it by clicking on control C and control V and then connect it to the merge. So let's do the animation now. I'm going to go over to frame 25 because we're going to do a little bit of a zoom in in the beginning but I will show you that later. So keyframe the center go 25 frames forward so we are on 50 and then go back and drag it out of the frame like this so it's barely out. Now this is good. So now we're going to go into the spline if you haven't opened it click on here and then click open. So click on this one to zoom to fit and just highlight everything then right click go out go up to ease and then click on out cubic and this is a, this most smooth animation we can do for in chip so i would just do a little bit like this this looks good so let's go on to the other one and we are on frame 50 because that's when this one is fully in and then we're gonna go 25 frames forward so we're on 75 like this and now just drag it out of the screen so it's barely out like this now we are just gonna check off this one now zoom to fit highlight everything as last time and then ease out cubic and this is a smooth curve so this is what we got so far Great. So let's do this zoom in now. So click and shift and space and type in transform. And then we're going to use this one because we have a setting called pitch and yaw. We can tweak in this one. So we get the 3D kind of look on the video. So let's just add it. Hold shift and drag it down to the line and keyframe in the beginning. The zoom, the position Y and the position X. Now let's keyframe the hitch and the yaw as well. Now go 25 frames in and let's just keyframe everything again. And let's just increase this a little bit. So we are on like. 1005 for both of these and let's just increase the size a little bit something like this is great and then let's go up a little bit so we have the video editing 101 centered like this great so this is a good zoom because we're going to zoom in a little more so we're not going to zoom fully in so let's click zoom to fit and then just highlight everything and then click on out cubic so we get a nice zoom in in the beginning so now we are just going to go to frame 150 and then we're just going to continue getting the zoom in to make it a little more dynamic and watchable and let's just center it again like this and the Pitch, drag it up a little bit and the yaw drag it up a little bit as well and for this one we're not going to touch it we will just make it a linear curve so it looks something like this but we can still do more so we are going to add a film damage just to make it get that paper look you know film damage drag it on and i like to make it a little bit more white so i'm just going to drag the temp shift down a little bit so these two kind of line up so we get a, a more white color like this and the film blur we are also going to drag down just a tiny bit and the focal factor this is like we get a vignette so i'll just drag it down a tiny bit like this great so i think this is looking pretty good but we can add a radial blur as well add a radial blur so we drag this thing over here so it this is the center thing and add a ellipse and get over here just turn this down a little bit like this and then click invert drag it a little bit bigger and add a little bit of soft edge turn the strings down so this is a good look. So yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like the video. And I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome day out there.